tell me when you're ready. Okay, this is David here for Citizen Really talking to Liz Gardner of Fable Vision. Uh, Liz, would you like to tell us a little bit about Fable Vision and your relationship with Paisley Development Trust? Yeah, we've been working in partnership with the Paisley Development Trust now for 12 years and uh, Paisley is a really exciting town. Paisley Development Trust is working to regenerate it and there are some amazing stories to tell, one of which is the Renfrewshire Witch Hunt of 1697, which was the, the largest uh, witch hunt in Europe um, and the, one of the latest as well. Um, so it's an incredible story. It's also, it also links to the Paisley Thread Mills because the, the young girl who did the accusing went on and founded the Paisley Thread industry, believe it or not. And it links to the Paisley Abbey as well because obviously um, in this 850th anniversary of Paisley Abbey, we've got um, reason to celebrate the Abbey and um, the fact that they perhaps misaccused these seven citizens of Renfrewshire is... Well, that was how it was at the time, and that's what they believed. They believed they were doing the right thing. We're really excited about the torch um, going around Scotland, but we're sorry it's not coming through Paisley, because Paisley is... The people of Paisley evidence all the qualities of the, the Olympiad, the courage, the resilience and resourcefulness. The, I can't remember what they all are now, but we've got them all here in Paisley, in Spadefuls. It's the largest town in Scotland. Um, we would have loved to have welcomed the torch here. Um, so in a way that's a regret, but it's great that we're still being part of it through this Citizens Relay. So thanks very much for, for involving us in that. And what kind of Olympic related projects have been involved in Paisley and in Renfrewshire area to date? Um, um, and maybe other projects that you've well, been involved with in? Well, with Fable Vision, Fable Vision. Vision's been involved with the Cultural Olympiad uh, programme through a Scottish Wave of Change, where we worked with Jerry Hassan. Um, in Govan, uh, creating a Govan wave of change and then sailing a boat, young folk, young unemployed 16 to 25 year olds, sailed a boat around Scotland, gathering those sort of heroic stories from all around Scotland um, and uh, yeah, the, including the Western Isles and, and further. So yeah, we've been involved in Cultural Olympiad, we're delighted that we're involved in the citizens really. And how do we sustain the sort of activity that you mentioned as part of the Cultural Olympiad? That those were funded programmes. How do you sustain those beyond? Well, I think that's why it's important that we're here in Paisley and we're talking about the projects that are happening here in Paisley, like the Paisley Development Trust's Renfrewshire Witch Hunt 1697 and the Weaving Musical Threads and all the other projects that the Creative Network Renfrewshire are involved in, because that's what we're all part of, is Creative Renfrewshire's network of cultural organisations and that's about celebrating local cultural activity that's happening here anyway, happening here year round, involving the citizens of Paisley and Renfrewshire in discovering their stories and telling their stories, whether they're the sort of grotesque stories of the witch hunt. A lot of Paisley stories tend to be quite black and depressing but hey, why not retell them because people love a good story. Uh, so it really is about celebrating the culture that's here already. Great to have a cultural Olympiad, great to have an opportunity to profile what's happening already, but we mustn't, re we mustn't forget that that is just a one-off and that those activities are happening all the time, year-round, with local volunteers um, you know, working really hard and, and celebrating their own culture. And finally, what will you be doing yourself when the Olympic torch really comes to Scotland? Where will you go and see it and will you, will you participate in the event? <laughs> um, no. <laughs> I don't know. I've, I've not even thought about it. Gosh, that was a rotten question. <laughs> well, thank you very much for your time, Liz. Thank you very much.